Okay, I'm at the Evans's house up in Marysville, and I've got uh, my charger plugged in right there. That's a NEMA 1430, and it's, the circuit's not actually in use because this dryer is gas, so it's working great. So I've got a NEMA 1430P to a NEMA 1450P, and then it, that connects to the actual EVSE, the Zen car. And it is getting, I can get past the glare here, it's getting, 20, it's set it to 24 amps, it's pulling 21.7 right now. I don't want to try setting it any higher because I don't want to blow the circuit. Um, <laughs> so I've got it going out here. And it goes through this door into the garage. And it goes here, and here's the first extension. <laughs> this is a 25 foot one I got up in Mount Vernon. And then goes out here, through the driveway, underneath this tree, and then it goes over to here, and I had to use my 10-footer. <laughs> so I've got my 10-footer right here. And then it manages to make it all the way out to my car, <laughs> which is charging at the amount you saw on the, uh, on that screenshot. but. Oh, don't want to trip over it. In the interest of seeing what the car thinks, I will turn it on and see what its estimate is for when it will be charged. I assume this estimate is dynamically calculated. It'd be very strange if it wasn't. Um, takes a minute for it to boot. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's dynamically calculated. I don't think that was there at that amount earlier. So yeah, three and a half hours and I should be fully charged. Um, maybe it's just guesstimating, I don't know. <laughs> Where am I at right now, percentage wise? I'm at 33. I was at 19 when I started charging at maybe 6.30. Because I didn't get this cable completed until a little later. I had to wait for Scott to get home. He drives for Uber. He drives that Jetta there for Uber. Um, I had to wait till he got home to get permission to connect the cable so yeah i am charging and it's awesome i will now stop the video and my car will stop oh it's still on i need to turn it off I'd be very angry if i leave it on oh turn off there we go shush as you can tell it beeps very annoyingly when the driver's side door is open probably going to disable that switch and that is all